Hey guys, this is Shainu. Today I'll be showing you how you can free up some of the storage in your iPhone without having to, you know, remove your files or your applications. These are the, some of the tips that, you know, help me uh, to kind of recover some of the space that I have lost. So hopefully you guys will find this video helpful and let's get into it. First thing we need to do is we need to go into settings. Once you have settings opened up, go to general and then to iPhone storage. This is going to do a quick uh, scan of what's in your iPhone. As you can see as in the recommendation, it's Apple is trying to tell us that, oh, you could, you know, have iCloud uh, and pay a little bit of extra fee and, you know, you should be able to upload all these files. We don't want to do that. What we want to do is we need to scan through all these applications and figure out like what is taking most space. So as you can see, I have recently deleted album that has like 861 megabytes of data that's like just sitting there. I could just select empty and you will see a difference here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, and you can see that the number went from 35.1 to 34.4 gigabytes. Um, that's a good amount of, you know, that's a good chunk right there. Scrolling down, you know, you have photos. Obviously, if you have unnecessary photos in your device, you need to delete it. If not, and you know, most of my photos are like there for a reason and I don't want to delete it. Um, and then the next thing would be to look through the other applications. So I have WhatsApp here that I could, you know, open up and it's going to tell you like, okay, so there's documents and data, which is 930 megabytes. That's a lot. The app itself is 68.6. The best way to actually delete these documents and data is to actually delete the application itself. There's no way around it, unfortunately. Um, if you have iCloud backup your, uh, you know, WhatsApp messages, and obviously this is going to be put back into that same application. So that might not help you. And you might be someone who doesn't want to delete WhatsApp because of the pictures and videos that you have, you know, have from your friends and family. But we have Snapchat here. It doesn't make any sense for Snapchat to have 431 megabytes of documents and data. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the application here and re-download Snapchat into my device because Snapchat is something that I use. And to do that, I'm just going to go back into App Store, search for Snapchat. And as you can see, I'm just going to install it. As it's trying to install, I'm going to go back into my setting and my iPhone stories, try to figure out what other application is cluttering up my space here. So I have the Google Maps, which is similar to the same thing. It's just taking 218 megabytes of data. I could just delete the application and re-download it just like how I did before. And if you do this to many of these applications, you can save a bunch of space, guys. I mean, as you can see, it went down to 34 gigabytes right now, um, and which means that we have a good chunk that's left over, almost 30 mega, uh, gigabytes that's left over to use in my device here. Um, so let's, uh, let's actually see if Snapchat got installed, and it did. I'm gonna go ahead and log into my Snapchat. All right, so I have Snapchat installed in my device, and I also have it opened up and logged in. So I'm going to go back into settings just to show you guys that, you know, uh, Snapchat now has the right size, which is just the app size, not anything else. The 20.1 megabytes, I would think that's probably from all the stories that's automatically downloading to the device so that we can play it. Uh, but again, guys, this can help a bunch uh, just going through and deleting unnecessary application and deleting these data from there. It could really drive up your storage space. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your time. Um, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I do similar content to this like every week almost. Um, and also make sure to turn on your notification if you haven't already. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.